Today's article explores the profound quote by Anne Nicol Gaylor. There are no gods, no devils, no angels, no heaven or hell. There is only our natural world. Religion is but myth and superstition that hardens hearts and enslaves minds. Welcome to Quotable Skeptic. I'm your content creator crafting articles on atheist quotes and sharing my thoughts with ChatGPT. Despite lacking visual appeal due to my disability, this channel is dedicated to providing knowledge through text-based content. As an atheist with cerebral palsy, I navigate challenges using innovative methods. Join me in exploring atheism, philosophy, and critical thinking. Despite the unconventional format, your support is appreciated on this journey of discovery. Let's delve into our next thought-provoking article video here on Quotable Skeptic. Before we delve into our featured article, let's take a moment to shine a spotlight on the remarkable Anne Nicole Gaylor, a trailblazing American personality celebrated for her unwavering atheism, fervent advocacy for free thought, and a steadfast commitment to animal rights. Life, born in 1926 in Illinois, USA, pursued a profound understanding of philosophy at Cornell University, founded the Freedom From Religion Foundation, FFRF, a pivotal atheist organization in the United States. Engaged in a tireless battle against religious influence in both government and public spaces. A staunch supporter of animal rights, Gaylor co-founded the National Association for the Protection of Animals, NAPA. Departed in 2010, leaving behind a legacy of activism and intellectual rigor. Attitude. Outspoken and unapologetic in her atheism, Gaylor often wielded humor and satire to challenge religious beliefs. A passionate advocate for social justice and equality, combating discrimination based on religion, gender, or species. Described as witty, sharp-tongued, and deeply compassionate. Never one to shy away from controversy, she ignited debates and pushed boundaries for progressive causes. Remember, this is just a concise glimpse into Gaylor's extraordinary life and contributions. Should you find yourself intrigued, her story deserves further exploration. Now let's dive into our article with a renewed appreciation for the indomitable spirit of Anne Nicole Gaylor. Title Unveiling the Veil of Superstition, A Rational Exploration of Atheism. Today we dissect a powerful quote by Anne Nicole Gaylor, a beacon of skepticism. She asserts, there are no gods, no devils, no angels, no heaven or hell. There is only our natural world. Religion is but myth and superstition that hardens hearts and enslaves minds. Let's unravel the layers of this quote and explore the rational perspective it encapsulates. Deconstructing the, quote, Gaylor's words are a rallying cry for those who embrace atheism, a rejection of supernatural entities, and a call to anchor our understanding in the tangible reality of the natural world. Let's break it down. 1. Absence of supernatural entities. Gaylor unequivocally dismisses the existence of gods, devils, angels, and the entire celestial hierarchy. This stance challenges the core tenets of religious belief, asserting that our world is devoid of mystical forces. 2. Embrace of the natural world. Gaylor urges us to turn our attention to the empirical, the observable, the natural world. Atheism in this context becomes a celebration of the intricacies of our universe without the need for divine intervention. 3. Myth and Superstition the crux of Gaylor's critique lies in her characterization of religion as myth and superstition. She contends that these beliefs, rather than enlightening minds, shackle them in a web of unfounded traditions and dogmas. 4. Hardening hearts and enslaving minds. Gaylor goes a step further, asserting that religion not only fails to enlighten, but actively hinders intellectual and emotional growth. The hardening of hearts and the enslavement of minds depict a grim picture of the potential consequences of religious adherence. Exploring the Atheist Perspective From the vantage point of atheism, this quote resonates as a call to intellectual freedom and liberation from the constraints of supernatural dogmas. It advocates for a worldview rooted in reason, evidence, and a profound appreciation for the wonders of our natural world. Conclusion 
As we conclude our exploration of Anne Nicol Gaylor's poignant words, we're left with a challenge to question, to reason, and to free ourselves from the bonds of myth and superstition. Quotable Skeptic encourages you to engage with these ideas, fostering a community of thinkers driven by curiosity and an unyielding thirst for knowledge. Stay skeptical, stay rational, and until next time, this is Quotable Skeptic, signing off. Thank you for joining me on Quotable Skeptic, where curiosity meets knowledge. If you found this exploration of atheist quotes and critical thinking insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support fuels this journey. Stay curious, stay rational, and let's continue questioning everything. Until next time, fellow seekers of wisdom.